This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Make your purchases through my personal link in the description to help out the channel. Furthermore, if you want to support me more directly, you can check out my YouTube channel membership for fun emojis and sneak peeks, or my Patreon. Links in the description. So as you fellow customizers know, nothing is more tedious than waiting for fodder when you have like, pretty much everything completely finished, but you're just missing that one last piece and you can't get it. It's either that or you have ideas you're like desperately trying to start, but like the base body won't get in stock. So in the meantime, while I tear my hair out, I um, figured I would repaint this Kenobi Obi-Wan figure. I've been meaning to do this for a while because it's just like the plastic is strangely translucent it kind of looks like the way NECA used to do skin but i feel like a lot of detail gets lost in the sculpt and also his beard is like borderline like ginger so um we're gonna repaint this entire face i'll probably leave the eyes because i think the eyes look really good but uh, the rest, yeah, uh, I'm gonna repaint all of it. So as usual, we're starting with a layer of Cadian Flesh Tone. And just like so, we just layer on the paint. So when it comes to Kenobi, it's, it's very like, mixed um like how i feel about the show i would say i honestly like the show for the most part i feel like there were several really really unnecessary bits like it, pretty much everything with reva and uh like that entire ending bit with luke was completely unnecessary it also felt a bit cheap at times, like uh, when they're chasing Leia throughout the woods. I thought Ewan McGregor did perfect. I really enjoyed Vader in the show. I think this is probably... I think Disney in general has done a really good job of making Vader seem like this impossibly like a strong force of nature that you can't really do anything about and um if you have a chance there is a like an edited movie version of kenobi that i highly highly recommend because it kind of trims out a lot of the fat and it makes for a lot of better of a um viewing so layer one and now we wait for this to dry okay so with the initial layer of cadian flesh tone on the head we have mixed a little bit of white with the cadian flesh tone and we're just very gently going to cover the head in that color and this is almost like a dry brush but as you can see i'm not using an actual dry brush i'm using a um, layer brush and uh, the way this works is that I think the paint hits everywhere, but in the recessed area it just hits a little bit less because I'm quite careful so that the recessed areas still pop a little bit more with the um, original base color. And I want it to be a bit subtle anyway, so this works out perfectly in my favor. And then down here on the neck, you can be a little bit less precise with it. So now we let that dry. Okay, so I think we have a pretty good skin tone now. So um, we're going to go to work on the eyes. And for starters, I feel like we need a little bit more black here for the eyelashes. And this is really, really, really delicate work. This is the kind of work I absolutely hate doing behind a camera, but I'll try. And I messed up. <sighs> Why did I even try this? So I scraped off like the tiny little black X's inside the eye with one of the, these like needles. And then around here, we're just gonna use some cadium flesh tone. Relatively fixed. So now I want to make the eyes a little bit more striking. The eyes are a bit matted out, so I'm going in with some electric blue. And just a little black dot. So in a bit, we're going to do a little bit more detail on the face. But for now, we're going to uh, work on the hair. And uh, the hair is basically, I'm going to darken it down quite a bit. Give it a little bit more detail. So I'm going in with this black brown from Vallejo. And it's a bit watered out, but that's so it definitely goes down into the grooves. 
And uh, also maybe I don't even need to dry brush it, but we'll see. Did a bit of overspill just now, but I can fix that. So detail work with this little brush here. And while we're at it, let's do the eyebrows as well. So we follow the sculpt and we just do these like upward strokes. And as you can tell, we've lost a bit of the likeness now because the beard is so dark. But don't worry, we're going to fix this up right when um, this is dried. Okay, so now we're going to do a little dry brush with this regular flat brown. So I'm not really happy with how the brown is turning out. So I added some of this Vallejo light brown to the mix and uh, we'll see how this looks if I just dry brush it. I think this looks a lot better actually. So as you can tell, I um, did some off-camera experimenting with a mustache and um, I just kind of scraped away the paint because I felt like something was off. But uh, now when I have this superior brown mix, I'm just going to try to recreate the previous base color so I can then paint on the new mix. Okay, so I'm not really all that happy with how this is turning out so far. I might have to redo it. But um, let's try to age him up a little bit with this Reichland flesh shade. So the easiest way to age up a character is to just put some bags under the eyes. And I think I went a little bit too heavy just now on that side. So as you can see, I messed up on this side quite drastically. So I'm going to have to go in with right on flesh shade again. Tiny little mold detail. This is really hard because I kind of want to make it like translucent ish. So I need like a very small amount of paint on the brush. Kind of like that. And here we have Mr. Kenobi completed. And um, initially I wasn't really all that happy with him. But now when I've like done some minor tweaks, I lightened up the beard a little bit. I am really, really happy with him, especially from like this angle. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We can do a quick recap. So the skin color is my usual base everything in Cadian Flesh Tone method. And then uh, we do a lighter coat of um, Cadian Flesh Tone mixed with white. And then some very minor shading like in these wrinkles here with the uh, Reichland Flesh Shade. And the beard is based in uh, like a Vallejo dark brown and then it's dry brushed with uh, Vallejo flat brown and then it's another mix of Vallejo light brown with the flat brown and then I didn't really like how it turned out so I ended up kind of like very very lightly dry brushing some of that skin tone onto the beard and uh, that kind of sealed the look for me. I also um, did the same thing with the eyebrows here and uh, I did some uh, recoloring of the lips. It's just uh, the Cadian flesh tone and uh, the Reichland flesh shade on top of that. I did some very, very minor things on the eyes. I brightened up the blue on the eyes to make it a little bit more striking and painted in a new pupil. And then uh, this eye here, it's like a very, very tiny little extra bit of white down here at the bottom that really made a world of difference, even though you can't really see it probably. I also painted in uh, eyelashes 
here and here. Really, really happy with how this Obi-Wan turned out now. I do kind of want his more traditional Jedi robes. I know he gets them in Kenobi at some point, and I'm pretty sure there is a figure of that coming out, so... I might just swap the head and uh, put it on that body. Oh, and just now I added like a little bit of grey here to the sides just to uh, age him up a little bit more. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. Hello there. Tika, if you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first as a courtesy?